Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer. We have a great show in store for you today. Coming up, we have a Bible story where Jesus tells us about the kingdom of God and what it's like. And we have a craft where we make door hangers. But before we get into any of that, it's time for a song. And it's called Happy Medley by John Hardwick. Do sing along. What a great song. Now it's time for our Bible story where Jesus tells us about the kingdom of God. Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in his garden. And then a tall tree grew and birds perched in its branches. Again, he asked, What shall I compare the kingdom of God to? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? But he said to them, Make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, 
will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside, knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you, or where you come from. Then you will say, We ate and drank with you, and you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you, or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. And there will be weeping there, and gnashing of teeth, when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. People will come from east and west, and north and south, and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first, and first who will be last. At that time, some Pharisees warned Jesus that Herod wanted to kill him, but Jesus replied, Go tell that fox, I will keep on driving out demons and healing people, today and tomorrow, and on the third day I will reach my goal. Well, what a great Bible story. Now we're going to see if we can figure out what it means for us. And to do that, we're going to need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. Let's dive into the passage. Why does Jesus say the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed? Jesus says this because a small seed grows into a tree that benefits all the birds around it. And in the same way, the kingdom of God is going to grow and flourish to benefit everyone in the world. There's a saying that's often used to describe the church, which is that it's an organisation to benefit those that aren't a part of it, because we're supposed to help everyone in the world. Why does Jesus say the kingdom of God is like yeast? Well, yeast changes bread, and it makes it rise and be good. And in the same way, the kingdom of God changes us, and makes us into people who are transformed to be more like Jesus, and more helpful to everyone, telling the good news about what God's done for us. What does Jesus mean when he talks about the narrow door? Well, Jesus is saying there'll be lots of people in this world who want to go to heaven, but who haven't truly trusted Jesus and put aside worldly things. And Jesus is saying it'll be very hard for them. That's why he's saying the door is so narrow, because it's so hard to get into heaven, um, because you have to put your whole trust in Jesus and rely on him. What does this mean for our lives? Well, we can learn to be brave in doing God's will. Jesus gives us encouragement as well as a warning in this passage. He tells us about how good and powerful the kingdom of God is, but he also warns us that it'll be hard to follow him. It'll be hard to get through that narrow door. But even though uh, that's the case, we should be brave and hold fast to him. Jesus is told that Herod wants to kill him, and yet he's not scared. He goes about doing his mission because he knows how important it is to do his goal and we should follow suit, and we should follow Jesus even when it's tough, and be brave, and do what he asks of us. What are we going to learn about next time? Next time, Jesus talks about a banquet. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse comes from Luke, chapter 13, verse 29. And it says this, People will come from east and west and north and south, and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. So let's say that again. People will come from east and west and north and south, and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're making door hangers. For today's craft, you will need some cardboard, any kind will do. I'm using an Amazon box some plain paper, some scissors, a glue stick, some coloured pens, pencils, paints or pastels, and finally a marker pen. Now let's get cracking with the craft. We're going to be making door hangers because today we heard Jesus talking about going through the narrow door. First take your cardboard and your marker pen and draw out a door hanger shape like I'm doing here. Then take your scissors and cut it out. Remember to always be careful when using scissors and ask an adult for help if you need. When it's all cut out, it's time to stick some plain paper on it so that we have a nice surface to draw on. Use your glue sticks to stick down your door hanger 
onto some plain paper, just like I'm doing here. Then cut it out again. When you've done that, flip it over and do the same to the other side. Stick it down on some paper and then cut around it. Now we have the base for our door hanger. From this point you can decorate it however you like. I'm going to start by using my marker pen to write come in and drawing a happy bird. Then I'm going to flip it over and write I'm busy and draw a sleeping bird. Then I'm going to use my pastels to make it nice and colourful. Now our door hangers are finished and ready to hang outside our doors to tell people whether we're free to, for them to come in. What a great craft! Do send through any photos of your crafts or any questions to the email in the description below. But for now it's time for a song and it's called We Will Follow by Michael Tinker. Do sing along! We're running out of time now, so we're going to end in a short prayer. If you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Lord, thank you that the Kingdom of God is wonderful and welcoming to all. Thank you that we can all take our places at your feast. Help us to be people who show how good you are and how good your Kingdom is with all our friends and family. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we have time for. Do tune in next time when Jesus talks about a banquet. But for now, that's bye from me. And it's bye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.